The endoscope is resting on your hand, as you can also see here. And as a right-handed person, you are holding your scope with your left hand and you're basically doing the majority of all of your work with your left hand, which is something that you need to get used to in the beginning. So basically, you zoom in, you zoom out, you look cranially, you look cordially, all of, that, all of this is done uh, with your left hand. The right hand basically only inserts the instruments and you do that exactly in line with the endoscope. And these are always harmonious movements. So you turn left and you turn right and both hands basically always follow the same harmonious movements. When you try to do what you have been used to when you work with a microscope, going with your instruments and doing those kind of movements, for example, going cranially or cowardly, this will not work with the endoscope because you will be starting to angle you get your instruments against the working channel of the endoscope and you will not get anywhere. You will, be, you will maybe even only cause uh, damage to these instruments. So it's very important that you always have these nice harmonious movements be between your left hand and your right hand. Whenever you need force, then you are probably doing something wrong. So then again, check that everything is well aligned. In the beginning, this is all a bit much to focus on, the different anatomy. It looks simply, it simply looks differently and uh, the holding of the instrument is different. And so just many, many influences that you have to face. And therefore, this adapter that you can see here maybe will be quite helpful for you. This adapter is adjustable and what it does is it basically fixes the distance between the working sleeve and the endoscope. So that at least is one less thing for you that you uh, have to take care of. And this in the first cases maybe will make your life a little bit easier. Later on and for the mid and for the long term, however, I personally would recommend that you teach yourself and you learn how to use the endoscope freehand. This will simply basically make all of your movements much more flexible and you will be much more mobile uh, working inside the spinal canal.